Hello, hello, KB3TQO here. I wanted to show you my idea that I had for some time. Never really put it to, uh, into a reality until here just recently. So what I, what I started doing is working with a slinky antenna that got me absolutely nowhere. It was your typical uh, eBay or Amazon made uh, slinky antenna, which performed not very well at all. I uh, don't think I was able to get that thing tuned up on any bands, uh, regardless of uh, how you know uh, extended or contracted you had the the slinky springs, but um, nevertheless, I, I had the idea that you know I could get I could make a slinky antenna work. Maybe not work well. Obviously, it's not your full length dipole, um, but I, I at least wanted to get one to work. So here's my idea. Here, I started with uh, some PVC pipe two slinky toys. Now these are not your standard slinkies. If you if you look, I'm I'm not a very large person, but you can see that these are uh, just the the smaller style slinkies here, not the full size slinky. I don't I couldn't give you a uh, a diameter. I don't remember. Maybe an inch and a half uh, tops in uh, diameter. So anyway, I took two of those. You can see this this leg over here is a little mutated for me uh, playing around with different uh, lengths. And uh, anyway, so it wasn't altogether difficult to build. Um, I think I used uh, one inch, this inch or inch and a half. Let's uh, <clears throat> let's see what we got here. I think it's one inch uh, PVC coupler, uh, and then two one inch PVC plugs, one for the bottom one for the top, a threaded piece of quarter by twenty uh, eyelet. I don't remember if that's two or two and a half inches long. Either way it was just enough to uh, give me some sort of mechanical support for the center. Um, the bottom is SO239 with uh, two little screws holding that in place. I'll show you the inside now. Uh, let's see here. If I can get this with one hand. Oh. Okay, so Get some extra light on that, maybe. Here we go. I uh, can't tell all together too well, but the the shield is connected. Uh oh, what happened? Here we go. The uh, shield is connected to the inside of the. What in the world? That's absolutely strange. Uh, maybe some sort of auto. Uh, Anyway, that was weird. Um, I'm not a camera guy by any means, so I don't know what was happening there. But anyway, um, so the shield is connected um, from the inside of the SO239, um, just on the bottom or inside of one of the screws. I've got the, this uh, one one side of the speaker cable uh, connected to it. Anyway, and the other goes to the uh, center conductor, and drilled myself some holes used some automotive spade connectors for the ends of those wires uh, flip it around you can see the other one here um, used that because I knew it was going to grab hold of the uh, end of the slinky springs uh, with not too much trouble anyway so that was that uh, used some quarter inch plexiglass uh, drilled some holes uh, one eighth inch holes uh, through the width of the plexiglass to use uh, that as supports for the ends uh, maybe not even a centimeter about a centimeter in width maybe uh, about as wide as my finger anyway uh, just a little bit narrower just enough to uh, get your slinky through there so the slinky came with clips on the ends uh, there's one of the clips there. Uh, those were kind of a pain in the butt to work with, but uh, they were manageable. Um, getting the clip off without destroying it seemed to be the biggest issue. And then uh, getting the slinky through your PVC and then reattaching those clips uh, is what you want to do there. So I've taken some nylon string, simply tied a knot on the back side. Uh, just something to where I could uh, hold those elements apart. So uh, my original idea was to take some of those retractable keychains 
and uh, put them inside the slinky and then pull pull the slinkies out to length um, in hopes that the retractable keychain uh, would be long enough uh, they're not so uh, I didn't go down that route um, and I was hoping for some sort of inner support mechanical support for the inside of the slinky so they uh, the elements don't bow down um, as much as they do and uh, so anyway, I haven't uh, found a way out of that yet without tying a string right through the center of it, nor have I found a way to support this out in the middle of a field. Um, not just yet anyway, but that's all in the, uh, in the works here. So let me put this cap back on here. I'm going to get this mounted up to the, uh, the ceiling somehow, and we're going to hook an antenna uh, uh, analyzer up to it and uh, see what it looks like. So... Again, my intentions are uh, this to work on 6 and 10 meters. I'll be happy just to get away with one of the bands, whether it be 6 or 10. So, anyway, my idea is to make a slinky antenna work. Uh, it doesn't have to work well, I just want it to work. So, uh, let's get this thing hooked up and we'll see what it can do. Okay, here we are. Now we've got the antenna mounted at the center. Uh, we have the legs going out. I've got that one tied to some metal strapping up into the uh, ceiling there and out on the other leg we are hooked in between this piece of drywall that I just broke I'm getting it up there so I'll have to fix that along with uh, throughout the rest of that project. Anyway we still need a feed line let's get that hooked up <laughs> 